Hi folks, today we're gonna to talk about the hamstrings. Hamstrings are important to running. Are your hamstrings too tight? Well, maybe, but maybe not. So pretty much every runner at some point in time, if not constantly talks about my hamstrings are so tight, what can I do about my tight hamstrings? I need my hamstrings to not be so tight, I would be able to run better, et cetera, et cetera. So the hamstrings are very important. So first, if you don't run your hamstrings tight, don't run. I mean, running tends to tighten hamstrings. That's one reason we want to do some foam rolling and stretching on the warm muscles to try and counteract that, but you're going to have tight hamstrings. But a lot of times people assume that their hamstrings are too tight for them to be a good runner, and that's not necessarily true, and it's something that you can check. What you really need with the hamstrings, and this is true for every part of your body, is you need enough flexibility for the range of motion that's required. You don't necessarily need to do more. You don't need to be able to touch your toes to have enough range of motion in your hamstrings for running. It's not to say touching your toes is a bad thing, just that you don't need it. Think of the example that uh, you might have a car that can do 120 miles per hour, but chances are, hopefully, you're never doing 120 miles per hour. If you're in the US and you're on the interstate, maybe you're at 70, 75 or something like that. So you've got more range in your car, you just don't need it, the hamstrings are the same way. On the other hand, if your car could only do 60 miles per hour and you want to do 70 miles per hour, well that won't work so well because the car is not going to meet that. So do you have enough range of motion? So here's an example of a friend of mine running, I'll show you, he's got pretty good form and you can see with the, the hamstring out in front that that knee never gets to parallel to the ground. I should state that I'm really talking about distance running, the, the one mile on up. If you're a hurdler or a sprinter, it's a little bit different. Your knee is gonna to have to come higher. But chances are in running, your knee is not gonna be a whole lot higher than you see his front leg. And chances are it's not gonna extend much back than you see in the back leg. So you need enough range of motion to be able to complete that. If you don't have the range of motion to get the knee where it is, then yes, that's going to restrict you or enough range of motion to get the knee back that's gonna restrict you. If you've got more, that's great. It doesn't necessarily help you. So how can you check yours? And I will tell you that this test is coming from uh, Jay DeSherry's fine book. If you've never seen it, Anatomy for Runners. It's a very, very good book. And he talks about the hamstring. So here's what you can do. You're going to lie on your back and your legs are going to be flat out. Now, when your legs are flat out, so you're just lying on your back, legs flat, your legs are at 0% right now. If you could take them all the way back and touch your toes to the other side, that would be 180 degrees. When the leg is straight up and down perpendicular to the ground, then you're gonna be at 90%. So you're at 0% and perpendicular would be 90%. What you wanna do is one leg at a time is raise that leg up, keep the knee straight. It is okay to feel a gentle stretch in the hamstring, but you shouldn't feel pain in the hamstring because you're not gonna run in pain, but a little bit of a gentle stretch, okay? So you're gonna raise that one leg up, keep your knee straight, gentle stretch is okay, and your goal is to get to about 70% or maybe a little bit more. And if you can get to 70% or a little bit more, remember perpendicular was 90%, on the ground is 0%, then you've really got enough range of motion for running. And again, going back to Jada Sherry's book, you know, here's a picture. Um, you can see, it, not the one with the, the knee bent, but the one where she's raised up. That's probably about 75%, maybe 80% right there. It's not close to vertical. That's all you need. If you can get that far on both legs, because you want to check both hamstrings, then you've got enough flexibility in your hamstrings. They may still be tight. You may still not be able to touch your toes. You may want to be able to touch your toes, which as I said is fine, but it won't make you a faster runner because you have enough range of motion to do that. So what do you do if you say, holy cow, I'm only getting to 60%, then it's a limiting factor. You want to start talking about working on your hamstrings. So there are bazillions of stretches out there you can find for the hamstrings. A couple of keys are, you always wanna try and do stretching with warm muscles. So ideally it's after running some other activity, if not brisk walking, do something to warm the muscles up before you try and stretch them. And make sure that the stretches are gentle. Too much is not better. Too much will actually send you in reverse. So it's not like you wanna crank on a hamstring and you're, ugh, you're just trying to grit it out. That's too much. You're actually gonna cause the muscle to go in the other way. You just want a nice, gentle stretch. So check out those hamstrings. I'm sure they're probably tight if you're a runner, but the question is, are they too tight?